Hello, Rob here, Rob about Cambodia. I'm Rob Salzman from Tom. So, another lovely day in, in Cambod with the mountain range behind me, Boko Mountain, great. The beautiful river with the walking, uh, the walking promenade, which is fantastic, about two, three kilometers over there. We've got the new Starbucks, the new Starbucks in Cambodia, built in the old so called fish, uh, fish, uh, fish market. So it used to be a fish market, a proper fish market, where you go and buy fresh fish some 20 years ago, I believe, and then it became a restaurant called the Fish Market. And unfortunately, it's been taken over by Starbucks. But I never go there because I shop, eat or drink coffee, or eat locally. And uh, there, the coffee costs $3.50, $3.75 for a, ca a cappuccino, a uh, small pot of cappuccino. And over there, for an example, where I'm sitting right now, I'm working from that little cafe guest house next to the pharmacy. There, it's $1.25. So, why would I go to Starbucks and why should you go, not go to Starbucks? Well, I've got nothing against Starbucks. I just want to support the local economy. I don't think Starbucks is a very uh, good company in, in the sense that they don't promote health. They don't care about people's health. They, it's, it's a coffee shop. It's, it's a candy store disguised as a coffee shop, okay? Because 95% of Starbucks products are actually fully sugar laden and not, and that's it. You, you cannot buy a single item of food there that doesn't, it isn't a pastry or a, a, a sweet or chocolate and doesn't have sugar. You can't get any savory food there. You can't get bacon and eggs, for example, which you can get in the cafe here for like a couple of dollars. All you get there is muffins, scones, uh, donuts and, and, and junk like that and then sugary sugar filled teas and frappes and god knows what so I avoid all that stuff and I recommend that you should also try to avoid it because it's really toxic for the body and it's not good for your health at all it makes you put on the weight and that's something you don't want because that causes over time not too much time causes diabetes type 2 diabetes which is very nasty and you can get you can manage it and you can get rid of it by eating healthy clean food but then when you become obese and you get to the point where you get so bad that you're sick and you can't lose weight you have many, many ailments and sicknesses and that leads to unfortunately a stroke and heart attack very at an early age sometimes 30 35 or whatever you, know, you can see it's quite quiet at the moment in camp up not many people here not many tourists here not much going on but that's okay for me because I'm working right over there, taking it easy, and it's just nice to be able to work from a quiet place overlooking the river and enjoying nice scenery. Okay, Rob here, Rob about Cambodia. Talk to you later with more info about Cambodia, where I'm going next. Probably Siem Reap and Batabong is coming up next week. Bye bye.